These are the July horoscopes for all 12 rising signs. Also, be sure to check out everclear.com in the link in my description below. They have my personal favorite tarot readers. I highly recommend getting a personalized monthly forecast in the form of a tarot reading or psychic reading from them. Also, be sure to subscribe for more horoscopes and in-depth astrology content. Aries Risings, this month there is going to be a large focus on your love life and rethinking your romantic relationships. So during the first week of the month, you can expect a lot of financial abundance to come your way. In fact, you may make enough money that you can help out your family members as well. But you're definitely going to find a way to increase your savings or even increase your cash flow. And during the first half of the month, things are going to be looking great when it comes to your love life or your creative endeavors. So you can expect to perhaps go on many fun, exciting dates. You may get along very well with a romantic partner. You may even meet someone new, but things are going to be very exciting and fun in your love life. Also, you can expect your creative endeavors to take off Perhaps you have a lot more creative energy and this will lead to successful creative projects. On the third, you have a full moon in your 10th house. So you may find yourself finally finishing a work project and you're likely going to be celebrating some sort of completion of your work. So you're likely going to be celebrating some sort of career success. By this point, you're likely going to be very happy and fulfilled with the progress that you've had with your career. So there will be a lot of fulfillment when it comes to completed work. And you may make major career moves during this time, which is going to lead to long lasting permanent success in your career moving forward. From the 10th to the end of the month, you are going to have Mars in your sixth house. So you are going to find that for the majority of the month, there will be a large focus placed on managing your health and wellness. You are likely going to create new strategies towards working on your health. So perhaps you may get into physical exercise, you may improve your diet, but you are going to start leading a much healthier lifestyle. For example, you may find yourself finally hitting some sort of weight goal that you've set out for yourself. You're also going to place a heavy emphasis on doing well on the career front. So you are going to be hustling at work which is going to lead to permanent long-lasting success in the workplace so again you are going to put a major emphasis on looking after your health and diet as well as looking after your career which is going to lead to success in both of these areas of your life you're also likely going to place a heavier emphasis on getting along well with your co-workers establishing better relationships with the people that you work with also around the 10th there's likely going to be very exciting energy around your creative projects and your dating life as well also on the 17th you'll have a new moon in your fourth house family and home living situation Situation. So some of you may be relocating, you may be looking for a new place to live in, some of you may even move into your dream home. Also, there will likely be some sort of new beginning with your family members. So you may go somewhere with your family members, you may be spending some time with them, but you'll get along very well with family around that time. There will be a lot of family bonding. Some of you may even be looking to start a family. Also, specifically around the 17th, you are going to have a lot of financial abundance coming your way. And you're going to find that with this huge influx of money coming your way, you're going to be able to have a lot more fun in your life. So you may be able to go out to more restaurants, for example, partake in more entertainment, go to concerts, take your date out to a nice fancy place. So an influx of money is going to allow you to lead a much more exciting lifestyle. Also, from the 17th to the end of the month, you'll have the sun entering your Leo fifth house, which is going to lead to even more emphasis on your dating life and your creative endeavors. So from the 17th and onward for the remainder of the month, you'll find that your dating life will become even more enjoyable and exciting, and you'll have even more success in your creative projects, and you'll have even more creative energy. From July 22nd all the way until September, you'll have Venus going retrograde in your fifth house of dating and creative projects. So even though there will be a lot of fun in your dating life, you'll have a lot of creative energy, you are going to be rethinking your romantic relationships and your creative projects. So what this means is you may be rethinking the romantic relationships that you have or that you've previously had. So for example, there may be an ex who tries to come back into your life, or you may find yourself reconnecting with an ex partner if there is unfinished business. Some of you may even get back together with an ex or there may be communication sorting things out another example is if you are currently in a relationship that you are unhappy with you may discard of that relationship and look for someone else and this will allow you to usher in the love that you truly want into your life and some of you may even enter a brand new relationship as well or if there are problems in your current relationship you may be working on hashing those things out and fixing those issues so there will be a lot going on in your love life You'll also be rethinking how you want to move forward with your creative projects as well. You may come up with completely new plans for your creative endeavors. On the 26th, you'll also have an influx of money coming in. So you'll have a huge boost in your savings, in your wealth, and this is going to lead to you being able to lead a much more healthy lifestyle, a much more exciting lifestyle. This will also lead to perhaps increased success in your creative projects because you can invest in them. So this influx of money is going to help you lead a much better lifestyle. It is also going to help you out with any projects that you have. 
Taurus Risings, during the first week of the month, you are going to be gaining a lot of recognition and you'll find that it is very easy for you to manifest the things that you want. You are also going to receive a lot of help from other people in your life. They are also going to help you attract the things that you want into your life. So the first week of July is going to be very abundant for you and you'll find yourself attracting a lot of the things that you've been waiting for, as well as gaining that recognition that you deserve, perhaps becoming more popular, becoming more well-known, increasing and boosting your reputation. You're going to be more visible, you are going to feel more seen and you'll definitely gain recognition for the things that you do. For example, gaining recognition in the workplace in your career. During the first week of the month, you'll also have Venus conjunct Mars in your fourth house of home and family living situation. So you may find that there is a lot going on with family members. There may be some drama, nothing necessarily bad, but you may find that things are quite eventful when it comes to your family life. On the third, you'll have a full moon in your ninth house of education and travel. So you may find that you are finally finishing up your studies. You may be making educational plans or you may be finishing a trip around this time, which is going to lead to a new chapter in your life, perhaps a new chapter when it comes to traveling or pursuing education. From the 10th to the end of the month, you'll have Mars in your fifth house of dating and creative projects. So you're likely going to put a lot more energy and emphasis on working out issues that may be present in your dating life. So you may find yourself reconnecting with your partners, perhaps hashing out any issues that are there so that you can improve your love life. You'll also find yourself putting more work into improving your creative projects and turning them into a success. So the work that you put into your dating life and your creative projects will lead to success in your dating life and creative projects. Also from the 10th to the end of the month, you'll have Mercury in your fourth house of family. So you may find yourself increasing the time that you spend with your family members and having a lot of conversations with your family members. On the 17th, you'll have a new moon in your third house, which means that you are going to become extremely productive and you are going to focus on improving your day-to-day -day routine so that you can get a lot of work out of the way. Also, you may find yourself finally engaging in some sort of work project and turning that into a success around the 17th. Some of you may even go on a trip or an adventure around the 17th and you'll likely find yourself networking a lot, perhaps being very social and improving your social life, connecting with more people. On the 17th, you can also expect a lot of personal growth in general. So you're gonna find that you finally manifested something that you've been waiting a long time for, something that you've been working months for. And this will also lead to a lot of praise from family members as well. So around this time, you are also going to be connecting very well with your family members. They may be impressed with the work that you've accomplished. Also on the 22nd, you'll have the sun entering your Leo fourth house. And from the 22nd, all the way until September, you are going to have Venus retrograde occurring in your fourth house of home and family. So you will find that there will be a very heavy emphasis on dealing with family members, as well as thinking about your home living situation. So some of you may be looking to renovate your home. You may be looking to buy or sell a property. You may be rethinking where you want to live from July all the way to September. So you may be looking to move into your dream home, looking for a new city to live in even. So from July to September, you will be rethinking your home living situation, rethinking where you want to live and what you want to do when it comes to buying or selling property. And there will be a major focus on improving relationships with family members or dealing with family members. And throughout the entire month, there will be a lot of personal growth. You are one of the luckiest signs in July. So you will be manifesting the things that you want. You will be working very hard to receive abundance in things that you care about. And because of this major personal growth throughout the entire month, you'll see that more specifically around the 20 26th, you are going to receive a lot of recognition and appreciation for that growth and all of your achievements. Any creative projects that you've worked on may gain more recognition around the 26th as well. Gemini Risings, you are really going to be hustling this month and you will be putting a lot of effort into managing your time a lot better and becoming a lot more productive. You are also going to be revising a lot of your plans in order to find success in a more improved way. So if life hasn't been working out the way that you want it to, or you find that you are not yet living that dream life that you desire, you you are going to make major changes to your plans and the way that you do things in order to find success, in order to lead that dream life that you desire. During the first week of the month, you are going to have major improvements to your mental health, which is actually going to lead to you being able to make more money, being able to find more success in your career, whether you work a corporate job or if you have a business, you may find that you are managing your business a lot better, which leads to a huge influx of cash. So your mental health improvements will lead to you finding a lot more financial abundance and success in your career. And during the first half of the month, you will be working extremely hard on your projects. You'll have a lot more creative energy, so you'll be extremely productive 
productive during this time. You'll be getting a lot of work done. You'll be improving your day-to-day -day routine. So you will have a large improvement when it comes to time management, which is also going to lead to more success. Also, you may put a lot more energy into your creative endeavors, which is going to lead to creative success. So you'll be getting a lot of work done and out of the way. On the third, you'll have a full moon in your eighth house, which means that you may be ending an investment. You may be letting go of bad spending habits, for example. You may be letting go of some sort of financial chapter, but this is going to lead to an improvement in your finances. So on the third, there will be good financial news coming your way, and this can be in relation to your money or money that you share with other people. Then from the 10th until the end of the month, you'll have Mars entering your fourth house of home and family living situation. So you may be putting more effort into renovating your home. Perhaps you may be redecorating, or you may find that you are spending a significant amount of time dealing with family members. From the 10th until the end of the month, you'll have Mercury in your third house. So during that time, you'll find that you are networking a lot. You are communicating a lot with other people. There will be a large focus on making friends or perhaps establishing networks that will help you get ahead. You may find yourself writing a lot during this time or even filming a lot of content if you're on social media. So you're gonna be talking, writing, or communicating a lot this month. On the 17th, there's a new moon in your second house of finances. So during this time, you may find a way to make a lot more money and you will definitely have a huge influx in your wealth. So around the 17th, money will be flowing effortlessly and easily to you. There will be a lot of financial abundance and you may find a way to make more money. So you may come up with a new stream of income or you may figure out a way to make more money at your job. Also from the 17th to the end of the month, you are going to have major improvements in your mental health. So you'll be ridding yourself of a lot of anxiety, stress, and depression that may have been playing in your life and this is actually going to lead to you becoming more productive getting a lot more work done for example you may find that your creative projects are really taking off because you have a lot more peace of mind and you were able to put more focus into your creative work or any work that you have lined up from the 22nd until September you'll have Venus retrograde in your third house so you'll find yourself making a lot of revisions to any work projects that you have this will lead to you improving upon those work projects and being able to turn them into a success. And by the second half of the month, there will be an even larger emphasis on being productive and getting your work out of the way. And by the 31st of July, you'll find that your mental health has significantly improved to the point that all areas of your life are finally improving. So you'll find that you are more productive. You are able to get your work projects out of the way. You are getting along better with the people in your life. You're getting along better with family members, friends. Cancer risings, there are going to be major changes when it comes to your Money and your relationships. During the first half of the month, you will be putting a very large emphasis on finding ways to make more money or to save more money. And this is going to lead to you having a large influx when it comes to your financial abundance, your wealth. So during the first half of the month, you may find a new stream of income or you may find a way to save a lot more money. On the third, you'll have a full moon in your seventh house of committed relationships. Full moons are all about letting go. So you may be letting go of some sort of chapter in your relationship. Now, don't be alarmed. This doesn't necessarily mean a breakup. Although if you are in a toxic relationship, relationship it could be the end to a relationship this could also mean that perhaps something is ending so perhaps if you've had fights with a partner that is coming to an end or perhaps if the two of you have been doing something together that is coming to a close you could also be celebrating some sort of large milestone in your relationship but you can expect something significant to happen in your love life around the full moon from the 10th until the end of the month you are going to have mars in your third house so you'll find that you have a lot more work to get done you are going to be hustling on perhaps getting written projects out of the way so you are going to be hustling this month you are going to be extremely productive also from the 10th until the end of the month you will have mercury in your second house of finances so you are going to be coming up with a new plan to make more money so there will be a very large emphasis on finding ways to increase your wealth on the 17th, you are going to have a new moon in your sign. So you are going to be the main character and the spotlight is going to be on you. You are going to be attracting a lot of attention around this time. So a lot of people are going to be recognizing the work that you put out, or you may find that your social life is very abundant. A lot of people are hitting you up, but you are going to feel very seen in all areas of your life, in your work life, in your social life, etc. On top of being the main character, you are also going to be accomplishing a lot of your personal goals and ambitions around that time. So you are going to to be perhaps implementing new plans in order to manifest what you want. So there will be a lot of abundance during the 17th. Also, you're going to be making massive changes to your identity. You are going to have a major glow up. So you may be changing your physical appearance. For example, you may be buying a new wardrobe, new outfits. You may be changing the way that you do your makeup or your hair. So this is going to lead to you improving your physical appearance. And you are also going to be boosting your status. You are going to have a large improvement in your reputation. Again, you are going to be seen by many more people. 
level. And like I mentioned before, there will be a large emphasis on making money, but that will be further emphasized on the 17th, where around that time you may be looking for new ways to make even more money to increase your wealth. So you can expect very good financial news to come your way around the 17th. Also, your social life will be very abundant on the 17th as well. You'll be making friends, you'll be networking with the right kinds of people, you may be going out a lot with your friends. Also, you may even network with people who can open up new streams of income for you, who can actually help you make more money. That will be the case for some of you. From the 22nd to the end of the month, you'll have the sun entering your Leo second house, which means that there will be even more attention and focus on growing your finances, which is going to lead to a huge influx of money coming your way. You're going to be financially blessed this month and you'll be making new strategies to budget and increase your savings. Also from the 22nd of September, you are going to have Venus retrograde in your second house of finances. So you are going to be rethinking how you manage your money, how you budget, and you are going to be making major changes to your financial plans, which inevitably is going to lead to you making major progress in your finances and being able to boost your wealth. So there will be a very large emphasis placed on improving your wealth, perhaps finding new ways to make and save more money this summer. And by the last day of the month, you'll be very happy in your social life. So by that point, you may have found that you've made new friends or you're getting along very well with the people in your life. You're spending a lot of time with them and you may actually find that the people in your life, your friends are really helping you out in life. Perhaps they're helping you out with your career, for example. Leo Risings, you were the main character this month. You are going to be receiving a lot of attention and a lot of people are going to be watching you. You're gonna have a huge boost in your reputation in July. During the first week of the month, you are going to have new opportunities to excel and succeed in your career. Also, your mental health is going to receive major improvements. So you may find new ways to really grow and excel in your career. And during the first week of the month, there are likely going to be many interactions between you and other people, and you are going to feel very seen by other people. Other people are going to be giving you a lot of attention, and you're likely going to have a very large increase in your reputation and visibility. On the third, you'll have a full moon in your sixth house. So you may be finishing up some sort of work project, or you may be very proud of some sort of work that you've put out that is finally coming to an end. So you may be ending something on the work front. Also, you'll find yourself making major improvements in your health. You may end some sort of bad routine which has been negatively affecting your health. From the 10th to the end of the month you'll have Mars in your second house of finances so you are going to be aggressively chasing the bag. You are going to put a very large emphasis on making more money, saving more money. And from the 10th to the end of the month you're likely going to resolve any issues that you've had financially. For example finally paying off any debts or bills that you've had previously. From the 10th to the end of the month you'll also have Mercury in your sign in Leo. So you are going to be talking a lot. You are going to be extremely social. So expect to be very extroverted, to be a social butterfly, to attract a lot of attention from friends, acquaintances. A lot of people are going to notice you. You are going to be networking extensively this month. On the 17th, you'll have a new moon in your 12th house, which means that you will be making major improvements to your mental health. So you'll finally be ridding yourself of any anxiety, stress, depression that has been plaguing your life. You may also reconnect with your spirituality this time. Also on the 17th, you'll find that people will really enjoy your company and you'll have additional career growth. You're gonna be very charming and charismatic around the second half of the month, which is going to make you more attractive and likable. Also from the 22nd to the end of the month, we are going to have the sun in Leo. So you are going to be attracting even more attention and more people are going to recognize you. You are going to have a major glow up and you are also going to have new opportunities presented to you, which are going to help you attract the things that you want, which are going to aid in your own personal growth. So whatever you've been trying to to attract over the past couple of months is finally going to come your way. You are finally going to be presented with opportunities which will allow you to attract what you've been manifesting. Also from the 22nd to September, you are going to have Venus retrograde in your sign. So from July to September, you are going to be changing your entire persona, which is going to lead to you having a major glow up and finally stepping into your personal power. So for example, you are going to change the way in which you present yourself to the world, perhaps the way in which you communicate with people, the way that you network. You are also probably going to change your physical appearance as well to make yourself look better. So you may be changing your hairstyle, your wardrobe, the way that you do your makeup, etc. You are going to improve the way in which you present yourself to the world, which is going to lead to you boosting your own personal reputation, which will lead to you becoming more likable. And by the last week of the month, you are going to be ushering in a lot of financial abundance. So during that last week, you are going to have a large increase in your wealth because you are going to have major growth in your career that will lead to you making a lot more money the effort that you've put into your work is finally going to be rewarded financially. 
Virgo rising, this is a month where you are going to be prioritizing your mental health and mental well-being. During the first week of the month, you may find yourself networking, making new friends, connecting with the right kinds of people who can help you out in life. Some of you may also have opportunities to travel, in which case travel should be going very well. And during the first half of the month, you are going to be placing a major focus on looking after your mental health and finding more peace of mind, finding ways to get rid of depression, anxiety, or stress, which may have been plaguing your life recently. You may find yourself isolating yourself a lot in order to find more mental balance, peace, and clarity. On the third, you'll have a full moon in your fifth house of dating and creative endeavors. So some of you may have something significant happening in your dating life. For example, you may go out on a date, you may hear back from someone in your love life, for some of you, this may also mean a breakup, but that is not always necessarily the case. I see this being something that will likely be a lot more positive in your love life. So something significant will likely happen in your love life around the third, which may be cause for celebration. Although if you are not in a relationship with the right kind of person, this could also mean a breakup as well. You may also be finishing up a work project or some sort of creative project as well. From the 10th until the end of the month, you are going to have Mars in your sign. So Mars is all about aggression, taking action. So you are going to be hustling for the majority of July. You are going to be getting your work done and out of the way. You are going to be accomplishing your goals. You're going to be very focused and driven on getting your work done. So you are going to be extremely productive. And as a result, you will be manifesting a lot of what you want. So the hustle and grind you're about to put into your life in July is going to lead to further success down the line. You may also find yourself partaking in more conflicts or becoming more physically active. From the 10th to the end of the month, you'll have Mercury entering your 12th house, so you may become a lot more interested in spirituality and talking about spiritual topics. On the 17th, you will have a new moon in your 11th house of friendships and connections, so you may find that during this time, you may have more growth on social media. If you are an influencer, for example, you may gain more widespread notoriety and recognition. You may become more popular. Around the 17th, you may find yourself networking with more people, building up a larger group of acquaintances or making new friends and connections. So around the 17th, you may find yourself joining some sort of group or organization and you may find yourself making many more friends. Also during the second half of the month, you may have more opportunities to travel or you may find that some sort of educational plan is finally coming to fruition and is finally going your way. And from the 22nd all the way until September, you will have Venus retrograde in your 12th house of mental health and isolation. So you will find that over the next three months, you were really prioritizing your mental health. You are taking a bit of a break from the world. You may be isolating yourself a lot more, but this will lead to you ultimately finding a lot more peace in your life and being able to become more grounded and lead a much healthier lifestyle. And by the end of the month, you may find that your educational plans or your travel plans are having a very positive impact on you. So throughout the entire month, there will be a very large focus on self-improvement. So you will be taking a lot of time away from the world in order to improve your mental health. You are going to be hustling. You are going to be very focused on the work front when it comes to getting your work done as well as manifesting your personal goals. So you are going to be working very hard on accomplishing everything that you desire, which is going to lead to success later down the line. Libra Risings, this month you are going to be extremely social and extroverted. You are going to lead a very exciting social life. During the first week of the month, you are going to have a lot of financial growth. So you may find that your investments are making a very high return, or you may find that you are investing in your career and you may be investing in yourself, which will lead to better career opportunities. So you'll find yourself making a lot more money. You'll also find yourself having better career opportunities available to you. From the first to the ninth, you are going to have Venus conjunct Mars in your 11th house. So you are going to be having a lot of fun in your social life. You can expect to go out with your friends, to go to very exciting places. So you are going to share very exciting, very exuberant moments with your friends. You can expect to form deeper connections with people and you may even make new friends. On the third, you'll have a full moon in your fourth house of home and family living situation. So you may find yourself spending a significant amount of time with your family members. Some of you may be celebrating something with your family members, or you may find yourself renovating or redecorating your home. Some of you may be looking for a new place to move to. From the 10th until the end of the month, you will have Mars in your 12th house of mental health so you'll find yourself putting a large focus on looking after your mental health in order to find more peace of mind and to rid yourself of stress anxiety or depression that may have been plaguing your life from the 10th until the end of the month you will have mercury entering your 11th house so this shows that you are going to be extremely extroverted and social you are going to be going out a lot you're gonna feel very seen in the world and you're gonna have a huge boost in your reputation and your popularity 
On the 17th, you will have a new moon in your 10th house of career. So around this time, you can expect widespread career success. Some of you may gain a promotion. You may be presented with new career opportunities, which will help you excel and succeed. Some of you may even be looking in a new direction for your career. You may be looking for a dream job. Some of you may even land a new job, but you can expect new exciting opportunities to present themselves in your career and for you to gain a lot of work recognition. Also on the 17th, you can expect financial growth, which will actually help you become more confident, which will help you go after the things that you want in life. You'll become a lot happier and full of life upon receiving this financial abundance. And from July 22nd going into August, you are going to have the sun entering your Leo 11th house, which is going to lead to you becoming even more socially active, even more so than you were before. You are going to become even more extroverted, even more bubbly, charming, charismatic. You'll be attracting a lot of people into your life. You'll be getting along very well with your friends. You'll be going out a lot. You are going to be extremely social over the summer. But from July 22nd all the way until September, you will have Venus retrograde in your 11th house as well, which means that you will also be rethinking the friendships that you have. You may be thinking of phasing out old friends who no longer suit your needs or who no longer have the same values or goals as you do. You may also find yourself ushering in old friends from the past back into your life. So you may find yourself discarding of friends or you may find that ex-friends are trying to make a reappearance back into your life and you may reconnect with people that you haven't seen in a long time. By the end of the month, more specifically, by the 31st of July, you will find that you've had a lot of financial growth throughout the entire month and you will be blessed with a lot of financial abundance, which is going to lead to an improved mental health state. Scorpio Risings, this is a month where you are going to have tremendous growth in your career. During the first week of the month, you will find yourself sharing a very close bond with someone, whether this be a romantic partner or a friend, and this person is really going to help you out in life and you are going to enjoy the time that you spend with this person. This person is going to be very beneficial in your life. They are going to help you out a lot. During the first half of the month, you'll have Venus conjunct Mars in your 10th house. So during the first half of the month, you're going to get along very well with the people that you work with. And there may be some excitement in the workplace, or you may find that things are very entertaining at work. You'll be generally very happy in the workplace. Also, you can expect to gain recognition for the work that you do. On the third, you will have a full moon in your third house. So you'll find that you may be finally finishing up a huge work project, which has taken up a lot of your time. So you'll finally get that out of the way. From the 10th until the end of the month, you will have Mars in your 11th house so you may find yourself perhaps getting involved in conflicts with friends or acquaintances or you may find yourself phasing out friends from your life so you may be cutting out friends who no longer share the same goals or values as you do during this time you may also find yourself resolving issues that you've had with friends also from the 10th until the end of the month you are going to have Mercury in your 10th house of career so you'll find yourself getting along very well with your co-workers and being very happy on the work front things will be going very well in your career this entire month. You may find yourself being very extroverted in the workplace and communicating with a lot of people or networking with co-workers and this can actually help you out in your career. So there will generally be very positive energy in the workplace. You'll be enjoying the time that you spend at work. On the 17th, you'll have a new moon in your ninth house of education and travel. So some of you may be planning a new trip around this time. If you do go on vacation, it should be very fun and very exciting or you may be making plans for higher education. You may be learning something new in regard to education. Around the 17th, you can also expect positive growth in a romantic relationship, and that will also lead to you performing very well in your career as well, since you'll be happy. From July 22nd going into August, you are going to have the sun in your Leo 10th house, which is going to lead to even further growth and advancement in your career. So you may be presented with career opportunities, you'll be gaining recognition for your work. Overall, there's going to be very positive energy on the work front. From July 22nd all the way to September, you are going to have Venus retrograde in your 10th house of career. So you may be rethinking what you want to do with your career. You may be rethinking your career strategy and implementing a new plan in order to find newfound success in your career, in order to improve upon the way that you do things in your career. Some of you may be looking to leave an old job and search for a new job, or you may be looking to change things up in your career, which will lead to growth in your career. And by the 31st, you may find that a relationship has significant improvements and that there's more positive growth in your love life.
Sagittarius rising. This month, there's going to be a large emphasis on travel, going on adventures, and pursuing your studies. During the first week of the month, you are going to make major improvements to your physical health. So you may be stepping up your diet and exercise regime. You are also going to make major improvements to your mental health. And this is actually going to lead to you being able to come into new financial opportunities. So you'll also have a boost in your financial wealth as well. From the 1st to the 9th, you will have Venus conjunct Mars in your ninth house of travel and education. So you may find yourself extensively studying something, your studies should be going very well, or you may come across new travel opportunities. You may be traveling during this time, or you may be making plans to travel, or you may be leading a very adventurous lifestyle. You may be going out a lot, going places with friends or family members. On the third, you have a full moon in your second house of finances. So around that time, you can expect to let go of something financial. For example, you may be letting go of a debt. You may be paying off a large bill. You may be letting go of spending habits. So there's going to be some sort of major event happening around your finances, which is ultimately going to lead to financial growth. From the 10th until the end of the month, you are going to have Mars in your 10th house of career. So you are going to be hustling when it comes to your career throughout the entire month. You are going to be putting major effort into succeeding in the workplace, which will allow you to advance at work. So you're gonna be putting more effort into the workplace. You will be overcoming challenges in the workplace, and this will allow you to excel at work. From the 10th until the end of the month, you are going to have Mercury entering your ninth house of education and travel. So there may be many discussions when it comes to talking about your travel plans or talking about your educational plans. On the 17th, there will be a new moon in your eighth house of finances and investments. So many of you are going to find ways to make more money. So you may find a new stream of income. You may decide to partake in a new investment, which will really take off and produce a very high return. So you are going to have an influx of money coming your way. You're going to find a new and improved way to make money. You will be more focused on growing and attracting financial abundance around that time. Also around the 17th, you are going to be making major improvements to your health and you should be getting along very well with coworkers as well. From the 22nd going into August, you are going to have the sun entering your Leo ninth house, which means that there will be an even larger emphasis on pursuing higher education, making educational plans, making travel plans, going traveling, going on adventures. From the 22nd all the way to September, you will have Venus retrograde in your ninth house as well, so you may be rethinking your educational plans as well as your travel plans. And then by the end of the month, more specifically by the 31st, you will find that the health improvements that you've made will lead to you securing more career opportunities and being able to grow your finances. So you'll be feeling better physically as well as mentally, and this will lead to you performing a lot better in your career, which will allow you to make a lot more money. Capricorn Risings, you are going to do extremely well with your finances this month. You will be securing the bag and you will be hustling to make money. During the first week of the month, you'll have opportunities to improve upon a romantic relationship and perhaps to develop that relationship and to make it more committed for you to form a deeper romantic bond with someone. Also, you may have opportunities to improve upon a creative endeavor, so you should be finding additional success when it comes to your creative projects as well as any romantic relationships you have. From the 1st to the 9th, you will have Venus conjunct Mars in your 8th house of investing in finances. So you'll find during this time that there are a lot of events happening with your finances and you are going to find yourself really hustling to secure the bag. So you are going to be working very hard to make more money and as a result, your finances are going to grow. On the 3rd, you have a full moon in your sign. So during the first week of June, you are going to go through a massive transformation where you are completely changing your entire self identity. So for example, you are going to be changing the way in which others perceive you. You may be enhancing your physical appearance so you may be changing the way in which you do your hair makeup you may be buying a new wardrobe so you will be enhancing and glowing up your physical appearance as well as your outward projection and you are going to become more charismatic and likable you will have a boost in your reputation you will also be attracting a lot of attention during the first week of the month so you are going to be one of the main characters during that time again you'll have that boost in your reputation you will feel seen by many from the 10th to the end of the month you are going to have mars in your ninth house of education and travel so you may find that things may become a bit difficult or burdensome when it comes to making travel plans you may have to exert more effort when it comes to managing your travel plans and also you may find that studying can become a little bit tiring as well you may be putting a lot of energy and effort into your studies from the 10th to the end of the month you'll have mercury in your eighth house of finances so throughout the entire month you'll find that there's even more energy exerted when it comes to managing your finances when it comes to investing you will be placing a very large emphasis on looking after your money and finding ways to boost your wealth. On the 17th, there is a new moon in your seventh house of
of committed relationship. So during that time, you may find yourself going into a new relationship. You may meet someone new around this time. You may find yourself going on a date or there may be some new and exciting events occurring in an existing romantic relationship. So things should be going very well on in your love life and you may find yourself going on new exciting dates, meeting new people. So there will be something eventful occurring in your love life around that time. Some of you may even enter a committed relationship around this time. And even though this is most likely to be romantic, this could also apply to a new connection. Perhaps you may make a friend or you may end up engaging with a business partner, but there will be someone in your life who you may form a very deep connection with, most likely a romantic partner. From July 22nd going into August, you'll also have the sun in your eighth house of investing, which means that even more emphasis and energy will be placed on managing your finances. And during this time, you're likely going to have a huge boost in your finances as well. You're gonna find yourself making more money. So financial abundance will flow effortlessly and easily to you. Also from the 22nd all the way until September, you will also have Venus retrograde in your eighth house of finances and investing. So over the next three months, you are going to find yourself putting a very heavy emphasis on reorganizing how you want to look after your finances, perhaps coming up with a different way to budget, perhaps reconsidering the ways in which you manage your income streams. So you may find yourself looking for new streams of income, but you are going to be making major changes to your finances over the next three months so that by the end of the three month period, you will have a major boost in your finances. You'll be making a lot more money. Also by the end of the month, more specifically by the 31st, you will find that things have improved when it comes to your romantic relationships or your travel and educational plans or studies. Aquarius risings, there's going to be a lot occurring in your romantic relationships. Your love life is going to become very exciting and also very eventful. During the first week of the month, you'll find yourself resolving any issues that you've had with family members or roommates. So you will have major improvements when it comes to your home living situation as well as any situations that you have with your family members. You'll be getting along a lot better with family members. You'll be bonding with them. During the first week of the month, you'll also have major improvements to your health and wellness. So you'll be looking after your physical body a lot better. You may be dieting or exercising a lot more, so you'll be feeling better. From the 1st to the 9th of July, you are going to have Mars conjunct Venus in your seventh house of committed relationships. So during that time, you can expect a lot of entertaining events to take place in your love life. So you may find yourself going on many romantic, exciting dates. You may find that things are quite theatrical when it comes to your love life. So things may also be a lot more passionate and exciting exciting in the bedroom too. So there's going to be a lot going on in your love life, a lot of events taking place. So if things have been boring or stagnant in your love life, they're not going to be any more in July. On the third, you'll have a full moon in your 12th house of mental health and addiction. So you may find yourself finally ridding yourself of any addictions that may have been plaguing your life. For example, getting rid of a nicotine addiction or a food addiction, and this will lead to massive improvements in your physical and mental well-being. Also, you are going to be letting go of any stress, any mental health issues that have been plaguing your life as well. So you'll be letting go of anxiety or depression and this will lead to you leading a much healthier lifestyle this will lead to you having a lot more peace of mind from the 10th to the end of the month you will have mars in your eighth house of finances and investing so throughout the entire month there will be a very large focus on looking after your finances you may be rebudgeting you will be making new strategies when it comes to your finances which will lead to you making more money by the end of the month from the 10th to the end of the month, you will also have Mercury entering your seventh house of committed relationships. So throughout the entire month, there will be a very large emphasis on your relationship, spending time with your significant other. You may find yourself talking a lot with your significant other too, as Mercury is the planet of communication. It's in your seventh house of committed relationships from the 10th onwards. So you will be talking a lot with a romantic partner. Expect many phone calls or just many conversations. On the 17th, you'll have a new moon in your sixth house of health and wellness. So you are going to be prioritizing your health you may be changing up your diet making it a lot healthier you may find yourself creating a new exercise regime sticking to a strict diet routine so you are going to be making major improvements to your health and you are going to be feeling a lot better as the month progresses some of you may even be hitting a new weight goal for example you may be making modifications to your physical body that you've been wanting for a very long time for example slimming your waist or something along those lines so the adjustments you make around the 17th will lead to you reaching your physical health goals throughout the entire summer. Also on the 17th, you may be starting a new chapter in the workplace. So you may find yourself looking for another job or perhaps making improvements to your career, which will lead to more success in the workplace. Also, you may be forming new relationships with coworkers, or you may find that you're getting along very well with the people that you work with around the 17th. Also around the 17th, you'll find that there are major improvements on your one-to-one -one relationships, perhaps with a significant other or with a friend, and also your home and family life will improve. So again, you may be feeling a lot happier 
happier at home. You may be getting along very well with the people that you live with, or you may be getting along very well with family members. So all of your relationships are going to be very harmonious around that time. From the 22nd going into August, you will have the sun in your seventh house of committed relationships in your Leo seventh house. So during that time, you are going to be going out a lot with a romantic partner. There will be a very large emphasis on your romantic relationship. So a lot of events taking place in your love life, you should be getting along very well with a rom romantic partner if you are with the right person. Also from the 22nd of July all the way until September, you will also have Venus retrograde in your seventh house of committed relationships. So you can expect many events to take place in your love life over the summer. For example, if you are not with the right romantic partner, you may find yourself breaking up with them, or you may even find yourself connecting with an ex. So Venus retrograde is all about connecting with people from your past. If there's unfinished business, this may be the case for you more so than any other sign because it is occurring in your seventh house of committed relationships, but this will only happen if you feel as though there's unfinished business. You may even get back together with an ex during this time, only if there is that unfinished business or this person is meant to be in your life. Some of you may even enter a new relationship over the summer. So Venus retrograde can bring soulmate relationships or even karmic relationships into your life. So there will be a lot of reconsideration when it comes to your romantic life. There will so expect a lot of reconsideration and rethinking your romantic relationships from July all the way to September. And by the end of the month, more specifically around the 31st, you'll find that again, you're getting along much better with family members. Things are very nice in your home and family life. And also your investments should be going well. Your finances should receive a major boost. Pisces Risings, you are going to be incredibly productive in July. You are going to get a lot of work done. This could be the work that you have in your career or even creative work. So you are going to be very happy with the amount of work that you get done by the end of the month. You're gonna get a lot of shit out of the way. During the first week of the month, you may have a new romance coming into your life, or you may find that things are very exciting in your dating life. So you may be going on many exciting dates. Things may be very romantic. There may be a lot of fun and passion in the bedroom. Also, you may find that a creative project is taking off during this time, or you may be working very hard on a creative project to turn it into a success. From the 1st to the 9th, you'll have Venus conjunct Mars in your 6th house. So you may find that during this time, you are putting a very large emphasis on working out, looking after your health, looking after your diet, exercising a lot. Also, you may find that there's a lot of action in the workplace as well. So there may be events in the workplace, or you may be getting along very well with coworkers, going out with them. On the 3rd, there's a full moon in your 11th house of friendships, group organization. So you may find yourself letting go of old friends in order to usher in a new group of friends in. So you may find that there are people who don't share the same values, goals, and that because they don't align with your values and goals that you don't wanna associate with those people anymore. So again, you may be phasing friends out of your life. From the 10th until the end of the month, you will have Mars in your seventh house of committed relationships. So you may find yourself perhaps having some confusion or perhaps some battles with a romantic partner or someone that you are business partners with, or you may find yourself putting in more effort to resolve issues in a romantic relationship. From the 10th until the end of the month, you are also going to have Mercury in your sixth house so you will find yourself placing even more emphasis and energy on looking after your health and diet, perhaps creating a better day-to-day -day routine so you can become more productive. Also, you may be putting in more effort in the workplace as well, which is going to lead to more career success. So throughout the entire month, you are going to be performing very well in the workplace, which will lead to advancement in the workplace or gaining recognition in the workplace. On the 17th, there is a new moon in your fifth house of dating and creative projects. So you may be beginning a new creative project around this time. Time. You may have success in a creative project around this time. Some of you may be entering a new relationship around this time, or there may be a lot of excitement and passion in your love life around the 17th. Around the 17th, your health and wellness will really improve and pick up. You'll be feeling a lot better, which will lead to more productivity when it comes to your written content or your creative projects or your work. So you are going to be getting a lot of work done and out of the way from the middle to the end of the month. You are going to be extremely productive. And again, you'll be very happy with what you are able to accomplish by the time the end of the month hits. From the 22nd all the way to August, you are going to have the sun entering your sixth house, which means that there will be even more energy placed on looking after your health and wellness from that point forward going into the rest of the summer. Also, there will be a lot of energy spent in the workplace. You'll be socializing a lot with coworkers. From the 22nd all the way to September, you will also have Venus retrograde occurring in your sixth house. So you are going to be reconsidering perhaps your workplace. Perhaps you wanna look for a different career. So you may be reconsidering what you wanna do on the work front throughout the entire summer. Also, you may be reconsidering your entire health and wellness plan over the summer. You may be making adjustments to your diet 
diet or the way that you exercise. So there will be a very large emphasis this summer on reconsidering what you wanna do for work, what you wanna do with your career so that you can go after your dream career if you are not yet in your dream career, as well as reconsidering how you wanna manage your health and wellness. And by the end of the month, more specifically around the 31st, you will find that there are major improvements when it comes to a one-on-one -on -one relationship that you have with a significant other. So throughout the entire month, perhaps you've resolved issues and by the 31st, if you are with someone, you should find that your relationship should be quite harmonious. By the 31st, again, you will have worked so hard that you will be extremely happy with how productive you were with throughout the entire month and you'll have gotten a lot of work done and out of the way so that you can enjoy the rest of the summer and just relax.